right, so happy 316, March 16th. It's Steve Austin Day, as in Austin 316. Says I just whipped your ass. Um, and this is the uh, WWE Ultimate Edition. Stone Cold Steve Austin by Mattel. None other than Mattel. Uh, so we've got a, a an Ultimate Edition Steve Austin. What does that mean? Um, it looks to be he has some uh, maybe a couple extra points of articulation, some extra heads and hands. Looks like he comes with three pairs of hands and like the Ric Flair that we saw before, he's got holding hands and pointing fingers and uh, actually he's got a couple of fists for punching action. Um, don't depend on Mattel to give you some middle fingers for Steve Austin because even though this is obviously it's a collectible, it, they charged me enough for it that they can't even, uh, you know, ante up on some middle fingers for good old Steve Austin. Um, but they did give him three heads. Um, we have a, a, the, the head that he's packed with has kind of a uh, ah, like almost a confused look on his face. Um, he has more of a serious uh, stone cold look and then a, uh, a laughing, a laughing stone cold. That's great. Um, all right, because he's known for just being a gregarious, just happy go lucky cat. Anyway, um, comes with a microphone uh, and a, a t shirt, the Austin 316 t shirt, his entrance vest, and the the uh, World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship from the, uh, I guess, Attitude Era. Um, but if you take a closer look at it, it's got the WWE logo on it, um, as, if, as if he bought it off of their website. Uh, he bought a replica. And uh, and then we've got a Stone Cold Steve Austin baseball cap packed therein. Um, we'll see how all this stuff comes together, what it looks like. But before we do that, let's take a look at the back of the box. And we see the figure, Stone Cold Steve Austin, holding his arms up, holding the belt up. Yeah, good luck getting it to hang like that. Um, <laughs> you've got all of his stats here. Uh, he's from Victoria, Texas. His finisher is the Stone Cold Stunner. He's a six-time WWE heavyweight champion, uh, six foot two. There you go. Uh, the shattering of the glass means only one thing. The Texas Rattlesnake is coming down the aisle. And he's got a Stone Cold Stunner ready for anybody even thinking about getting in his way. Even and especially if it's his boss, Mr. McMahon. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Uh, and then we have him pictured here with kind of a quizzical look on his face. Um... I like Stone Cold Steve Austin a lot. That's why I got this. Um, you know, and in these Ultimates, they are intriguing to me uh, because I, I found that the Ric Flair one was a little bit more posable than a, a typical WWE elite figure, or at least as posable as those should be for what they charge. Um, but we will get this figure out and uh, take a look and see what he looks like outside of the box. All right, so before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging here. As I opened it up, I noticed this. I didn't notice it last time when I opened one of these up. It says WWE Ultimate Edition. It's the ultimate WWE action figure that you have always wanted. Is it? Featuring advanced articulation and multiple swappable parts, Ultimate Edition figures allow you to capture memorable superstar moments, create authentic entrance poses, epic mid-match comebacks, and signature finishing moves in ultimate realistic detail with WWE Ultimate Edition figures. This is a Mego level of a boastfulness that we're seeing here, but um, let's go ahead and continue opening up this figure and we'll see what he looks like outside the box. All right, and now we've got him outside of the box. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, the Ultimate Edition. 
um, by Mattel. Um, so I've got him kind of in the, the best things that he came with. He's got the vest. He's got this, uh, you know, the, the best looking head that, that I feel like he came with. And he's got some punching ass fists um, right there for you. Um, also comes with uh, oh, the holy hands for some reason. And because he's not like he comes with cans of beer or anything like that. And some pointy fingers, because, you know, remember Steve Austin is always pointing at everybody. Um, he's also packed in with this uh, um, gigantic rope gold chain. Um, I know that he wears a gold chain in real life. Um, and uh, I, I guess this is an admirable uh, attempt at making one. However, um, scale to the figure... It's 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 humongous. It's like uh, yes, he wore a gold chain. He didn't wear a fat rope gold chain. He's not Run DMC. Um, so yeah, there's that. Also comes with a little baseball cap um, for him to wear. And yes, I know he has has uh, been known to wear a baseball cap. Um, and with the Austin 316 shirt, I actually like the Austin 316 shirt. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, however. Um, trunks and a t-shirt, not the coolest look in the world on a wrestler, and I don't really need them displayed like that. Um, comes with uh, multiple heads, like I said before, he's got a more of a serious face, this is the best looking one he comes with. Um, also comes with this, ah, this is what he's packed in with, more of an angry, yelling uh, promo face, that's pretty cool. And uh, and then the, uh, <laughs> the laughing stone cold, just, just so he can mock you for having bought this action figure. And uh, it comes with a microphone, so we can do some. Um, you can do some spit some raps, and then uh, it comes with the World Championship, the WWE World Championship, not the WWF World Championship that he won back in the day. Because um, as you can see, the logo right there says WWE, but it does come with the blue strap. So ultimately, he poses pretty well. Um, he's all right. <laughs> you can do lots of different poses with them. Yes, it's uh, way more posable than your average WWE Elite figure. Um, you know, got the cool little details. Of course, got the, the tattoo on his leg, his uh, his, his leg brace, um, full in effect there. Just the one on the on the left leg, and uh, yeah, not not too bad. It's it's pretty cool. Ultimately, at the end of the day. What I feel like about this figure, is it an ultimate figure? No. Are these figures ultimate figures? No. These should be called uh, the best that Mattel could do for what they were given. Because he can't have a middle finger. He can't have a can of beer. Um, you can't really do the Stone Cold Steve Austin things that you want to be able to do with them. You can't put the belt on underneath the... Uh, the, the entrance vest because scale to the figure it's it would be like it was six inches fucking thick um so uh, it's a pretty cool figure and if you you know you you absolutely want a stone cold steve austin figure that looks great um the sh figure arts figure is awesome but if you need a steve, steve austin figure that is scale to the rest of your wrestling figures this is gonna be your your not only your your best bet but your only bet and that is Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition by Mattel.